This is a universal object and sport that is recognizable in every country, city, and state. And as an athlete who has played this sport since the age of five, this sport is very fun, entertaining, and most of all, involves a lot of self-discipline. Today, I'm going to talk about the culture of soccer. First, I will talk about the history of soccer, and then I will talk about how soccer relates to me. Uh, the actual sport soccer was invented in England, and in America, the sport is known as soccer, but in the rest of the world, it is known as football. Why is it called football? You guys might be thinking, well, you play with your feet, right? Who thinks that? <laughs> well, you're right, but there's a little background info on that. Um, it is called football because during the mid-19th century in England, what was common back then was horseback riding. So instead of people playing soccer on their horses, they would actually get out get off of their horse and uh, play with their feet, hence the name football. Um, soccer is popular thanks to the Federation International of Football Association, which we know as the FIFA. Um, FIFA was founded on May 21st, 1904 in Paris, France. Uh, the nations that had representatives in the first meeting were France, Belgium, Netherlands, Denmark, Spain, Sweden, and Switzerland. And a year later, they had another meeting and the nations of Germany, Austria, Hungary, and Italy joined. Two years following the foundation, they were already uh, in talks about having an international tournament, which we know as of today as the World Cup. Um, in the year 1908, they hosted their first tournament uh, in the Olympic Games in England. Um, oh, at the time, FIFA only consisted of European nations but it wasn't until the year 1910 when the first overseas country joined, which was South Africa, followed then by Chile, Argentina, and the United States in 1913. So now that I talked about the history of soccer, I will now go ahead and talk about how soccer relates to me. Uh, soccer has been a sport that my family has been watching as a pastime. Uh, at an early age, I've been playing soccer. I've been playing soccer at the age of five, and from what I remember, I wasn't that good. Um, I started off as a midfielder. So for some of you guys who don't know, a midfielder is someone who defends when he has to, but at the same time attacks when he has to. And his most important role is to make key passes that will ultimately determine the end score of the, of the match. Now in order for one to provide those key passes, they must have good technique so they can control the ball, but at the same time have good vision so they can see the teammates run alongside the pitch and distribute those nice through passes. After playing soccer for quite some time, uh, I realized that I was not cut out to be a midfielder, or better yet, I was not cut out to be a field player at all. Uh, it wasn't until our goalkeeper from our team decided to not show up, and I volunteered for that position. And let's just say I was pretty good at that one. Um, if I wouldn't be playing soccer, I'd sure be watching it. Uh, my entire male family has a passion for soccer, and we all support many teams. Uh, my father is a big Chivas fan, uh, the Mexican league, and um, at the end of the at the end of the 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 games, they would recap all of the the they would recap all of the games from the top leagues, and that's when I fell in love with my team, which is Real Madrid. Uh, at the time, they had uh, names such as Casillas, Ronaldo, Zidane, Beckham, Figo, etc. Um, the way they played was so beautiful and it was so intriguing that till this day I still follow them. Um, it wasn't until a couple, you know, months later that it turned out that my brother also has a passion for his team, and um, he supports AC Milan, which is an Italian club. And um, so now that I talked about how soccer relates to me, I will now go ahead and talk about. Well, I will now go ahead and conclude my speech. So today I talked about the culture of soccer. First, I talked about the history of soccer, and then I talked about how soccer relates to me. Um, my speech is coming to an end. You guys are gonna hate me right now. And uh, with that, I'd like to say, time is up. <laughs>